Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. The Savera is bringing to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to the Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. Welcome to a brand new episode of my favorite challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily Yoga is a very special challenge because not only do you not need any previous training or expertise to attempt these exercises, you also don't need any fancy equipment. And best of all, you can do it from the comfort of your house. All you need is a little bit of time, a little bit of motivation and a yoga mat. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started with today's session. For today's session, we are going to primarily focus on breath work, which is pranayam. Pranayam is very essential in today's day-to-day -to -day life because not only does it help to improve the overall lung capacity, it really improves the oxygen saturation in our blood. To attempt today's exercises, we need to keep a couple of things in mind. Number one is your position. You can sit in Vajrasana on the floor. You can sit in Sukhasan with your legs crossed in front of you. You can even sit on a chair if it feels more comfortable as, the, as long as your feet are touching the ground, your spine is straight and shoulders are relaxed. Make sure that you are not slouching, so try to sit in a straight, attentive position. Once you've attained a good position, you have to try and maintain the position throughout the practice of the pranayam. Otherwise, fidgeting and changing positions can be quite distracting. Number two is duration. Today we will be doing a total of six exercises and all of them would be for about four to five minutes each. It is not very long but can be a little bit of a stretch especially for beginners. The only thing to remember is listen to your body. If you feel out of breath or if you feel that you are getting tired, simply pause, take a break and you can come back to the exercise as soon as you are able to. So without any further delay, we are going to start today's session. For our first exercise today, we are going to do a very simple technique called the Wim Hof technique. It is a very special technique invented by Wim Hof and it is usually done before a warm up and it really helps to warm you up before a workout and get the blood flowing. So for today, in this exercise, you're going to breathe in with a lot of force through the nose. So when you breathe in, you will do it forcibly with a lot of pressure. And when you breathe out, you're going to breathe out slowly and normally. So breathing in would be with a lot of pressure. Breathing out would be absolutely normal and you won't even be able to hear it. Let's practice it for four to five minutes. This is a little bit tiring. So please take breaks as and when necessary.
and change. Moving on to our second exercise for today, it is the exact opposite of what we just did. In this, you will breathe in normally with no pressure into the nose. You will breathe out forcibly, exhaling the air out and compressing the stomach as you do so. It is called the Kapal Bhati Pranayam, also known as the fire breath. It is also called the king of all pranayams because of the number of ailments it helps to relieve. So please try and incorporate it in your daily lives. and change. Moving on to the second, third exercise now for today, it is the left nostril breathing. You're going to take your right hand thumb and block the right nostril. It will stay blocked throughout the practice. You will breathe in from the left and out from the left. Let's practice it for four to five minutes.
and change. Moving on to the next exercise for today, it is the opposite of what we just did. It is the right nostril breathing. You will take the left hand thumb and block the left nostril. Breathe in from the right and breathe out from the right. Let's practice it for four to five minutes. and change. With this, we've completed four exercises for today. Exercise number five is the Brahmari Pranayam. You are going to take your index fingers, place them on top of your brows, three fingers to close the eyes and your thumbs are going to plug your ears. Breathe in, breathe out as you utter the M sound.
We are now at our last exercise for today. It is the lion's breath. You're going to go ahead and lean forward in the chair. Breathe in. Breathe out with your tongue hanging out.
and change. So guys, these were the six pranayama exercises for today. You can go ahead and repeat any of them It was if it was more helpful to you. We are going to wrap today's session by chanting the Mahamartanje Mantra. Go ahead and repeat the words after me. Om Triyambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushti Vardhanam Urvarup Mevabandhana Mrityur Mokshi Mamrata Rubbing your hands together, generating heat, placing them on your eyes, on your ears and on your heart. So this concludes the session for today. I'm hoping that you enjoyed the session as much as I did. Please do stay consistent if you want to see consistent results. You can follow us on all social media to stay updated with more such cutting-edge fitness challenges. That's it for today. Stay tuned. Until next time.